In the last video, we looked at how we could use division tags for layout and how we could create a structure by styling those divisions using CSS. We created a division called wide and one called narrow. So let's extrapolate this into how we could make an entire structural layout and contrast the using divisions with how we will do it uh, using HTML5 new semantic tags. So to give you an example of this, I've created this Photoshop visual that shows you um, what that structure might look like. So the header of the page might be created with a division with an ID called header. Then a menu might be uh, called something like menu. We might have left and right column division IDs. And within those, we might have a division with a class called article. So the point here is that we're using the same uh, style rule for two different things because we want them to behave the same so they can have the same style rule. And then one at the bottom, another division with an ID called footer. So this is how we would have done it with XHTML1, uh, the previous standard of, X, of HTML. Um, but now uh, we change to HTML5 and what they've done is basically introduced some more semantic or sort of uh, sensible sounding HTML tags that you can use instead of a division. So if we look at that same structure again, this time with HTML5 introduced, then you have a tag called header, a tag called nav, one called article, and within that article there might be different sections of the article, and a side for a sidebar and we still have div ID footer now currently there is a footer tag um, but at the moment it's not supported in the same way in different browsers so it doesn't always position quite correctly so for the moment if you stay using div ID footer uh, you won't go wrong so these are specifically named so you have to use the word header you have to use nav you couldn't make up a menu tag there so where with divisions, you can use whatever title you want. So you can write whatever you like for an ID name. You can't do that with the new HTML5 tags, but they've created these specific tags to allow you to just write tags instead of divisions and IDs. So the, so the CSS will be exactly the same, um, but it's just that the uh, semantic sense of it uh, is hopefully better and shorter to write, certainly. So let's take a look at how we can write this particular uh, structure of a page. So if we go back to Dreamweaver and if you want to keep what we've done so far just do save as now and save this file as backup.html or I don't know pre-lesson 7 or whatever it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is to get rid of everything inside the body. So we've cleared out everything on our page then I can start writing out that structure. So the first thing in our structure, if we have a look at that again, is the header. Then comes a nav, article, section, etc. But before we do any of that, we need a tag to hold all of these things together. And what we do with that is to wrap them inside a division. So there's not an HTML5 tag for this uh, particular uh, thing that we're about to do either so we're going to do that with a division so this would be the same if we did it in XHTML also so people usually call this wrapper or container because it basically holds everything together and we put the opening of it at the top and the closing of it at the bottom just before body closes then into that I can put in all of my different sections so the header then nav, then we had the article, and in article, uh, in my example, I had two different sections, so I'll place in those tags, and after the article, there was an aside, and finally, we have a footer, which is using a division and the ID to identify that division. So that is how I would create that particular example using HTML. So I've got header, nav, article, sections inside article, the aside, 
and then the footer at the bottom. So that's how you will create the HTML structure. In the next video, we will look at styling that with CSS.